Among your social circle, the woman's primary value is sexual. Yeah. That's how you get male attention is playing the V card, right? Yeah. That's how it's been since I was like 14. Right. I miss Jesus. <laughs> no, don't you think? Yeah. The stuff was not happening. When Christianity was in charge. It's not like everything was perfect. But we weren't in this kind of mess. Oh, oh, de yeah, definitely, definitely. And I, I really wish morality would come back to Western culture. It's, I, it's, it's gone, it's out the window. And, you know, the problem with... You know, I, I really like guys. I think they're good, honest people, the ones that I do talk to, not all of them, but I prefer male companies sometimes to to females because all the females I know are just, you know, crazy. They're crazy. And um, Well, of, of course they're crazy because they've been giving up their maidenhood to a sequential bunch of hairy-legged jerks. Yeah. Right, but they've been used and passed around like sex slaves. Yeah. And again, I'm not saying they don't have any agency or anything like that, but they're so heavily propagandized. Definitely, definitely. It's cool, it's hip, it's sexy, it's fun, blah, 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 right? Yeah. Like Lacey Green the other day on, on Twitter was asking, well, what's wrong with being a cuck? You know, hey, some people just get off on watching their partners have sex with other people. What's the big deal? Mm. What's the big deal? <laughs> Lacey, it's not a pile-on situation. It's a big deal. There's something seriously wrong yeah. with people's heads if their sexual excitement comes from watching someone they love have sexual experiences with strangers. Yeah. That's messed yeah, I up. Agree. That's, mm -hmm. that's not even a cry for help. That's, I don't even know what that is. That's like one of the stories off the Joker. Yeah. That's not good. That's not healthy. That's not right. I want to earn a whole bunch of money, pile it up in my front yard and set fire to it. Well, what's wrong with that? Maybe that's just what gets you off, man. Don't be such a square. No, that's not healthy. People don't have boundaries anymore. Right. Every restraint is considered to be yeah. squarish, prudish, yeah. joy killing. Yeah. You know, exactly. like you're either a hyper uber intergalactic slut from hell or you're Amish. There's like nothing that's, yeah, in that's, between. That's how it is. I mean, my friends in high school, when I was 14, you know, everyone was talking about, oh, you know, uh, I'm not a virgin and I'm not a virgin and oh, who'd you lose it to? And it's like, you know, it was almost like a race for everybody, it seemed. Race to the bottom. Yeah. And then, of course, women get older. It's a way of destroying sexual market value. It's a way of destroying. Lauren Southern posted something recently, you know, what, what women think guys want. And it was some woman with a big butt and skin tight leotard and stuff like that. Oh, God. And yeah. then, you know, what, what guys really want. And it was, you know, a slender, attractive woman in a June Cleaver kind of dress and all that. Yeah, it's like a normal, a normal girl, not some crazy yeah. demon from hell. And women's hearts are broken through their vagina. Yeah. Women are particularly vulnerable to promiscuity. Men are armadillos, you know, as far as that stuff goes. But women, I've not known a woman who's been promiscuous who's not gone crazy. Now, there's the obvious yeah. kind of crazy, like seriously crazy, like heavily medicated and, and all kinds of dysfunctional. And then there's just kind of out there crazy. You know, that they, yeah. for, for, for me, in my experience, this is all personal. I don't know. Maybe there's studies out there mm -hmm. as well. Promiscuity oh, no, produces it. symptoms in women indistinguishable from post-traumatic stress disorder. Hmm. Promiscuity is like wartime for women. Because you can't connect with people if you're throwing the greatest reproductive treasure of your existence. And you know what's so funny about that? I have a friend, particularly one of my friends who's always on Tinder, always meeting new guys through there. And you know, 
I'm like, what, you know, why do you go on there? Like, are, are you looking for a boyfriend? Do you, do you like this guy that you're going to see? No, no, I just, you know, want to see him. And, you know, I'll tell her, you know, why don't, why don't you get another boyfriend? And she says she's unable to emotionally connect. Of course. If the media as a whole keeps pumping, so to speak, this ideal of consequence-free, promiscuous sex, they are destroying the capacity of Western women to yeah. get married, settle down, have children. Yeah. It is a form, of, it is a form what? Of, of intergenerational castration to promote promiscuity. Sorry, go ahead. But why it's so hard to find a good guy in this is because guys see these girls and it's much easier for them to get, you know, to, to take up with some of these girls sometimes than it is for them to want to wait it out and to stick with a good girl. It's a race to the bottom. There used to be this female solidarity, which says we're going to slut shame the hell out of the promiscuous woman so she doesn't hand out for free what, what men need to earn. Yeah. But now that, oh, you can't slut shame. Can't slut shame. Now you're a virgin. You're all virgin men, slut. yeah, all virgins are prudes, Shamed. right? All men are sexist, yeah. but don't you dare slut shame a promiscuous woman. Well, I'm sorry yeah. if it's like patient zero Patient Zero, Typhoid Mary, spraying STDs around like some sprinkler system on a golf course, I have some problems with it. And it messes up yeah. not just the individuals who partake of it, but everybody else. Literally, it's like a black hole that has infinite effects on all of the matter that surrounds it. All sexual mores are undermined and destroyed by promiscuity. Why did things get this way? I wish they could just be more simple. I mean, I wish I could go live back a couple hundred years ago and life would be simpler. Yes, of course. And better. Yeah. You know, there's ways to destroy people in wars. There's ways that people get destroyed in, in famines and, and diseases and so on. And then there's just ways that the heart gets turned from a living, beating, soulful organ into a crater of broken glass. There's a way that people get turned into emotional porcupines. There's a way that people have their hearts broken, armor goes up, spikes go up, and they become deranged. We are built for commitment. We are built for monogamy. Those case selected among us in particular, we are built for one and one and children. And attempting to deviate from that because people throw the shiny objects of sexuality, hot sex, leather, watching your partner have sex with someone else and whacking off at a corner. I mean, all kinds of hideous stuff is promoted. You meet, you kiss, you have sex. It's cool. And then people just mysteriously vanish. Oh, wow, this great woman was... Well, we met, we kissed, we had sex, she was super hot, and then she went back to Belgium. <laughs> no consequences. No unwanted pregnancies. No phone call a year later, which says, oh, by the way, uh, you've got a baby who's three months old, and now I'm going to throw you in baby jail for the rest uh, of the next two decades. No, you wake up, oh, my God, I'm peeing fish hooks sideways. Oh, my God, I'm peeing blood. Oh, my God, I got an STD from this guy, and now I'm infertile. None of that. You can't show happy women who waited until they got married to have sex, who are enjoying being moms. Can't show that anymore. You could up to the 1960s. After that, whoosh, decapitate that meme. And now it's all just about base lizard brain stimulation. Video games, a face full of pixels trying to kill you. Sex, rut, 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 rut. Christ, lizards do that. Protozoa do that. That is not a higher calling. Oh, I squirted. I'm deep. I'm meaningful. Well, balls deep, maybe, I guess. And we've lost what it is to be human. What it is to be human is not what the lizard brain provides. You know, the lizard brain is really bad at differentiating between what is real and what is imaginary, which is why you, people respond to pornography. It's why people play video games and think something's happening. 
I shot that guy. I, I blew up that demon. I ripped the heart. I, don't, I play video games on occasion, all that. But Lord above, you're not getting anything. You're not creating anything. You're not learning anything important. You're not connecting. You're not developing a skill. You're not increasing your market value. You're just being bombarded with stimuli. You got your Dolby 7.1 stereo headphones. You got your 40 inch screen. You got your GTX 1080. You got your gaming mouse. That old Scott Adams thing. People who don't need people are the happiest people. We have completely cut ourselves loose from that which is higher and human among us. And now we're in hot pursuit of deep lizard brain stimulation in fantasy, in make believe. And we are continually putting a diet of desserts in front of us. Sex is the dessert of intimacy, and we just chew through the sex without the intimacy, like we're just getting facefuls and facefuls and facefuls of dessert. And then we wonder why we get sick. We wonder why we can't connect with people emotionally. It's because you've overloaded your lizard brain with everything except higher and deeper human communication. And there's nothing left but a sperm-soaked smoking crater of brokenness. And it's tragic. And it needs to be resisted. And that means that we have to be called prudes. We have to be called losers. Oh, I guess you just can't get laid. <sighs> Nonsense. Because these people will take everything down with them. They don't want to wake up to the shame of what it is that they've done. Every time a woman throws sex at a man to get his attention, what is she saying? She's saying, I'm a hole with a hole. He can't be interested in me as a person, as a human being, as somebody with ideas, thoughts, feelings, perceptions, creativity, grace, intelligence, wisdom, virtue. He's not gonna be intelligent enough and aware enough to be interested in me. But if I give him a hole to squirt in, if I turn myself into a glory hole of emotional absence, then he'll pay attention to me for four fucking minutes. Four minutes. You sell your soul for four minutes. And as far as I know, the women who are promiscuous don't even enjoy it that much. Women are programmed to want male attention. Of course, because male attention is sexual market value. Male attention is how you get to pick from the men and hypergamously choose the best man with the most resources for your, for your children. The women are programmed to want male attention. But with the internet and with the welfare state and this consequence-free, heavily pornified culture, my God, it's become cancerous, this thirst for male attention. 